Today I'm going to talk about the different uh, SQL Server uh, database migration methodologies or approaches. Uh, I'll probably be talking about four different approaches. Uh, the, the first approach is pretty much the classic approach of uh, uh, backup and restore which we call as the script method. The reason why we call it as a script method is basically we could automate the end-to-end -end, uh, migrations here using different scripting languages. Either you could do it through SQL Server scripts as well like uh, just like using uh, T-SQL or, or the best way of doing this would be using uh, PowerShell and that's what most of the DBAs or infrastructure persons uh, people do today, right? So with this methodology, you basically um, run a PowerShell script to back up all your databases within your server. You also script all your SQL Server logins, your maintenance plans, your link servers, your, your SQL Server agent jobs and basically use this uh, use uh, use another partial script to restore it uh, from the backups onto your destination server so with this you basically have an end to end uh, automation put in place to to migrate uh, your sql servers the second approach is basically the uh, what we call the sql server export and import method with this method uh, uh, basically uh, you you are trying to migrate uh, data for certain objects uh, with this approach right the, the reason it's called export and import is basically you can take a dump of certain objects in your database and you can ideally ex import it into a target server right uh, with this uh, uh, this ideally is not a not a recommended method when you have large databases. If your database is less than 100 GB of size, you have a downtime that's acceptable and customer only wants a partial database to be migrated, right? That's where you would ideally go with the SQL Server import-export method. The third method is basically the copy database method. Uh, in this, uh, the SQL Server copy database command is invoked through SQL Management Studio, which also copies your logins, agent jobs, stored procedures. With this method, the, the you, sh, you ideally need to have a good network connectivity of around 10 GB between your source and target servers. Your, your database sizes can be less than 500 GB and 50 less than 50 database uh, per server. Right? Uh, depending on what the requirement is, you're you're still needed to migrate the your DT uh, your link servers, broker settings, maintenance plans, custom store procedures, and any DC, DTCs that you have. <coughs> One other method that is commonly used is the Microsoft Data Assist Data uh, Migration Assistant. Uh, with this strategy, um, also involves downtime. Uh, you need to have a good uh, a network connectivity between your servers. Your database sizes are uh, less than 500 GB, and you have less than uh, 50 databases per server. Right? Um, Databases also have minimal I/O and small number of transactions per minute for this method to be used. With this method, you basically use your source and destination servers and tell the tool to migrate the data. All right, uh, this is pretty much a very GUI and interactive way of doing things, but depends on what kind of uh, database sizes that you have. The last and the most commonly used today is the always-on availability group method. Uh, this method ensures that you have the smallest amount of downtime involved. Right? With this approach, um, uh, you ideally uh, this approach will ideally allow you to see the data onto the destination server itself. Right? Uh, even though you use the always-on configuration, even with the always-on configuration, you would still need to script out all the other uh, components of your database like your logins, your DTCs, link servers, broker uh, configurations, maintenance plans, stored procedure, uh, maintenance plans, etc. Right? Uh, so, but however, uh, this method is the commonly used method across a lot of organizations today and that gives you the flexibility of making sure that you have uh, less downtime uh, for your most critical business applications. Thank you.